Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be helping out Paladin Dance. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is I did get a level. I went back to Sanctuary, built just a little bit. I didn't want to go crazy with it. But we are going to put a level into Hacker. Now we'll be able to hack Expert Terminals. Let's go ahead and go inside. You going to patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Think you're some kind of hotshot? Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, so now we're supposed to be best buddies. Well, guess what? I'm not interested in making friends. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Is there any way to earn your respect? Do what you're told. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? How's security looking? We going to be able to hold out here? This building's pretty solid. We should be safe enough. Yeah. Unless a behemoth decides to pay us a visit. Hey. If that happens, we won't last long enough to worry about it. Scribe? Sorry about the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I, uh... I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. I used to be like you. Wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. Let's go ahead and listen to Scribe Halen's personal log. Log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my what the humanity going process. On. If reinforcements are coming, they sure are taking the their sweet time. Idealistic hey, and noble. If Paladin Dan says they're coming, methods, then they're coming. Leave a lot to be they desired. just need to hold out a while longer. The leadership I don't know, Halen. Especially misguided. We've lost half our squad already. Instead of diplomacy, even with this new guy helping, violent confrontation I to exert stay control. Around long enough for them to get here. Despite all that, I've been guy. successfully avoiding the fighting I'll by following it. the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood for my own moral fiber. Grab that cap stash, some pre-war money, and then we're going to lockpick this safe. That's it. So later on in the safe, we're going to have a magazine. We'll have to come back here and get it when the brother of, when the Brotherhood of Steel actually comes to the Commonwealth. Let's go ahead and put those patrol glasses on. That'll up our perception by one. Was man, not digging oh the other glasses. Has anyone ever told you that you're a bloodthirsty maniac? <laughs> Anyone ever told you that you have the cutest little smile when you try to get angry? Nice try, Reese. Nice try. We're 
We're going to hack this terminal. So before we leave this terminal terminal alone, oh my goodness, words are really eluding me today. Before we leave this terminal alone, we're going to go in here. And what we want to do is we want to click on case 155H, Winter Holotapes Logs. It's going to give us kind of a side quest. It's for an NPC named Nick Valentine. We're going to end up meeting him a little later into the walkthrough. We're actually going to have to save him. I'm just looting what I can. I know I always say, like, I'm not going to loot a bunch. And then I loot a ton. Let's go ahead and listen to Operation Winter's End. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunting. Let's grab this cap stash. Then we're going to come down here. And we're going to go through this door into the Cambridge Police Station motor pool. I'm going to loot all of this stuff. And then we're going to go back into the police station. Now let's go talk to Paladin Dance. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? You ready to move out? Ready? Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. My recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. 
They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them, and they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. That trailer can be looted if you want to loot it. Threat neutralized. Oh, what's that? Super mutants. I think this is the first time we've encountered super mutants. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Canned dog food, yum yum, get you some. Paladin. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and buy the book. Understood? Why are we at Arc Jet again? We're here to retrieve a device that will boost the signal from the radio tower at the Cambridge Police Station. Without it, we can't make contact with our superiors. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Let's go ahead and listen to the discarded arc jet work log. Are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arcjet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. 
Janowski and I have been working on the Mars shot project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape and we'll start a new one. If you're having issues hacking that terminal, you can come into this terminal and get a password reset. So that way you can just go straight into this terminal and open up the door over there. Now, quick side note, soon as we open that door, we're gonna be attacked by synths. So get ready. I'm gonna hack this terminal and we're going to be fighting. So I'll see everybody in just a moment. We may have a found you. Hostile sensor reading detected. Standing down. Is someone present? Let's you must die now, human. Uh, Long live the Brotherhood. Movement detected. Engaging hostile flight form. I don't think we're alone. Primary sensor critically damaged. Destruction <coughs> of fellow sent <coughs> verified. I am targeting sensors <coughs> fully operational. Ceasefire! I think that's all of them. Go ahead and lockpick this safe. Sweet. And then we're going to hack this terminal. Okay, so if you can't uh, lockpick that safe, you can always go into that terminal to pick the, not pick the lock, but disengage the lock on that safe along with read some lore in there if you'd like. This Tesla Science magazine. Yes. This is going to allow our energy weapons to permanently inflict 5% extra critical damage. If we come across the way here, we can hack this terminal. Okay, I went ahead and deactivated the turrets in that terminal. It's pretty easy to do and self-explanatory. Not much over here to loot besides getting an overdue book, which is just over here. So scoop up the overdue book. some bobby pins
about a hundred more and we'll start using the 10 millimeter pistol regularly. Right here we have a safe and a terminal that we can hack. Let's start with the safe. Nice. Engine cores ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. Look at this place. Scribes would have a field day in here. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna listen to a hollow tape real fast. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine, I'm sure he took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mags. How cute. Har, har, har. Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. My marvel of engineering. The finest in weaponized refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. They'll see. The engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning, they'll all see. There we go. The junk jet is really cool. This is one of our first kind of special weapons. Like we do get legendary weapons from killing or armor either way uh, for killing legendary creatures. But there's only a certain amount of special weapons. And this is one of them. The junk jet will allow you to put all kinds of junk in it and shoot it at enemies. Pretty cool. So you could take all of this and just shoot it out of that junk jet. Yes. We may or may not use the junk jet. We'll just have to see. Grab that fusion core and then we're going to hack this terminal and turn on the power. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Don't just stand there. Four. Destruction is inevitable. Three. Damaged. Repairs impossible. Stealth capability. Two. Fascinating. One. Engine firing. Critical failure. Critical failure. You are digitally valuable institute. It would appear my target has... Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Let's scoop up some of the Institute stuff. Even if it's just the fusion cells. We can always sell those unless you're using a gun that needs them 
or a weapon that needs them. Going down. Going up. Get him, dog meat. Your termination is inevitable. Systems offline. Light him up. I hope that's the last of them. Damn it. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. We'll loot this steamer trunk over here. Over here you can read some more lore if you'd like. We're going to come back and go down that, or actually go up the elevator, not down. We're going to use that elevator in just a moment. But first we're going to backtrack. We're going to hop down onto this scaffolding or whatever you want to call it. You can pick up the fat man. Be really careful. Hostile sensor reading detected. Oh, they both came from over there. Normally, one drops down here and one drops down over there. I am under attack. Send them back to hell. But apparently, that was not the case. Let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Yes. Ah, uh, we'll grab the gold lighter too, why not? And then, oh, I'm over encumbered. Come here, dog meat. Hey. All right, let's go ahead and hack this terminal. Oh, do I not have enough? I thought I put one into hacker, right? Oh. Oh well, yeah, that's an expert. Thought I had enough into hacker, right? What the hell? That's weird. We should be able to hack that, but I guess it doesn't want me to. Alright, well scratch that. Don't worry about hacking it. It only allows you to bypass the lock on the safe anyways. Let's head out of Arc Jets. We'll loot this first aid kit first. And then we'll head out of here. Going up. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. Paladin dance. No time for questions now. We have to keep moving. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. 
It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep-range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Okay, we got a level. Let's go over to hacker. See, it wants me to put one into master hacking. Oh, that's so weird. That's that's just glitchy. It, it hurts my feelings that it didn't work. Uh, we're actually going to put one into locksmith. And I think the next one we'll put... A point into is hacker again and then a local leader so if you want to level up and put levels in ahead of time those are the two ones that I'm gonna be uh, putting levels into we're gonna head over here to the dirt road just to the left of us and we're gonna follow this down heading straight east we're gonna be going over to Grey Gardens hmm, there's a person over here Kim's vendor we don't need any Kim's we're alright Come back to the road. Just keep following it down. And then right over here, we're going to make a pit stop before going to Grey Gardens. We're going to explore this house and shed. Go ahead and turn our pit boy back on. So right here, this door, you can't get in there. This is part of a quest, so I wouldn't even bother trying. We just came in here to get a little bit of loot. Also to show everybody that you can loot quite a bit in here. Nice. Nice. Military grade duct tape. That'll give you ballistic fiber and it will give you adhesive. Let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Sweet. Ah, we'll just grab it all. I probably should have hit square to grab it all. Too indecisive. <laughs> That's part of the goat. It's from Fallout 3.
That's it. Potato, in case anybody wants that. Then we're going to go upstairs. There's really not much upstairs, nor is there much in this house besides a bunch of junk. But if you're using the junk jet, it's perfect. Gives you a bunch of ammunition. I don't think you'll ever run out of ammunition if you use the junk jet. Let's go outside to the Commonwealth. Not much over here. And then we're going to come over here, back up to the road. And follow it down to Grey Garden. Okay, before we go into Grey Garden, by the way, if anybody wants to get mute fruit... Here's the perfect place to get it because that is pretty much all they grow. They grow other stuff too, but mute fruit is the main thing they grow here. And you'll be able to take it back to uh, Sanctuary and pretty much just farm mute fruit. Because that's going to give you the highest amount of food for your settlement. Alright, with all that being said, let's go ahead and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.